question out of the way before anyone else comes because uh, it's a bit of an awkward one for me. This um, this says, do you use bee light breast implants? Could polyurethane be a good alternative as I want them to be as light as possible? So um, I always say, um, and it's true, that I'm not linked to any breast implant manufacturer. So I can use any implant uh, as long as the hospital can get it or as long as I can get it and, and bring it to the hospital, I can use any make or manufacturer you want. So if anyone's got a view about a certain make of implant, then they can uh, have that, no problem at all. Um, and obviously Be Light is a make of implant. And actually Be Light implants are made by Polytech, which are the same company that make polyurethane implants which I use quite a lot of. So um, I can use Be Light implants. Now, the problem with plastic surgery and the problem with plastic surgeons and maybe all surgeons is we do still um, have a lot of our practice based on experience uh, because rather than maybe cold, hard fact, facts and evidence, because when you look at it and when you narrow, when you look at it, at the end of the day, no one knows anything. There are no facts about what is the best this and what is the best that. You know, people say, oh, there's a paper that suggests this implant's better than that implant. Well, that paper was probably looking at 100 people or 50 people or 200 people or whatever. But still, it's not looking at every single person in the world ever. No one is out there collecting all the data for all everybody God, I don't know how I got onto that. I've got off piece there a bit. Sorry, stick to the stick to the script, man. Stick to the script. So um, the point of the matter is, we do still base a lot of our our um, practice on experience. And I used to be light implants, uh, which are light implants, on a patient, and they flipped. They flipped front to back. So they're round. They were round implants, and they flipped. So teardrop implants could obviously rotate. For round implants to to flip is very rare. It's a very rare complication. Um, it's only happened once before, and that so I thought, crikey, that's weird. So what happened was one of them flipped, then another one flipped, <clears throat> and then I flipped them back, and they flipped again. So the sample size of one, I totally, I totally um, get it. So it may not be anything to do with the B light implants, but it has put me off. Um, so that that. So I don't really use be light implants, to be honest with you. Um, but, you know, as I say, I don't think that that necessarily means this, that's sort of not evidence that I don't think that's a known thing I'd, that I'm aware of. So it's just me personally. So, yeah. Um, could polyurethane be a good alternative? as I want them to be light as possible. Now, having said that, now they do now, they, they are bringing out, or they were bringing out a polyurethane be light implant. So I think that's much less likely to flip because the polyurethane foam coating is much less likely to flip. But I don't think um, polyurethane implants are lighter than normal silicone implants. So if you're asking for be light implants because you want it to be lighter, I don't think polyurethane will be necessarily a better alternative than a, than a standard textured or smooth uh, silicone implant so I think you either go be light or you go you know normal um, and I think the